Good afternoon. I can't remember where this is. I did it a couple of years ago. I think it was from a family photograph. A family were being were in holidaying in Scotland, in the Highlands. It was a much bigger picture, as you can see, watercolour. But it was a demonstration. But I'm just going to do uh, that. I think that's sort of a good. Could probably put a bit of a tree there just to block it. I don't know. What do you reckon? Um, I think that would make a good good picture. Don't want the balance to be too much over on the left, so I'll have to block it with something or other. Uh, right, okay. So I'm going to do a knife painting on the piece of paper. I'll show you my palette. I vowed to myself yesterday I'd never ever do this again because I forgot to bring the camera up to the to the painting. So all, all I recorded was me mixing the colours. This might have been a lesson in itself, but it sadly it missed a very nice knife painting demo. In my opinion. Right, let's just zoom out to that. So there's a piece of greaseproof paper clipped to my old bit of a wardrobe on my box easel. And we've got uh, cadmium yellow, yellow ochre, white of course, uh, cadmium red, ultramarine, black and viridian. All but the white and cadmium yellow are cheap store store's own brand, Wilkinson's. The other two are Galleria, Windsor and Newton. So, right, I'm going to remember to do that. I've lost count of the number of times I have forgot to move the camera back. So, I'm being especially careful. I'm trying to get you to see most of the well, as much as large a uh, painting as I can. There's my hand. I've tried. I'm, I'm on X, XP, which is the highest resolution that this camera camcorder goes to, and TV 500, whatever that means, and automatic focus. I can't. I, that's as good as I I know how to get on the quick camcorder. Right. Okay. So. Um, we need to do a rough shape. I'm not going to draw it out. I'm just going to go straight in with the colour. So the right <coughs> hand uh, the right hand mountain I'm going to make quite warm. So I'm going to have some some red some yellow ochre There's not a lot of green in it, and a bit of black. So we'll see what we come up with now. Bit of blue. Oh, nice, quite a lighter mid-tone here. Oh, let's just get that in. We come down the slope, we can go bluer. Oops. So blue, red, black. I don't want any white at this stage. Uh, let's just come down here. I think I might have come too far over that. No matter. It's an exercise in knife painting anyway. Quite a lot of colour in there, doesn't look it. Right, then we'll just finish off with that. That we've well, we've come a bit too far over with that. So that's a bit of blue in there. Bit of white, I think. Then we've got some very faint mountains in the distance. But on the blue side, I've got a bit of black in there. 
that's a sort of a grey blue uh, for the Kymova. There we go. Paint the sky in afterwards, let's just get that. Right, so now in there, let's get that nice and thin there. And we'll put a bit of mist. Not misty enough. And I can put some whiting over that just to I can always go back and re restate it, but I just want to get these these colours in. Cloud. That. So I just imagine that that is misty. Back to these darker colours here. Just put those in. When I do this, I always think of Catherine Williams and the Welsh, North Welsh mountains. Right now we want some. Let's put some a bit of mist going up that valley there. We'll probably put some greens in. I have to work very, fairly quickly with uh, with acrylic because it dries quite quickly. All right, let's get in some nice yellowy contrast. Bit of iridium, bit of ochre, a bit of cad yellow. I'll put the sky in later. But this is such an exciting way, it's my favourite way of painting anyway. I love doing this. It's like laying crazy paving. A bit of red in there. Various colours. And a bit of white to that I think. Going into the misty sort of slopes. I don't want to take a long time on this. Let's get some more bluey stuff in here. A bit of a ready colour in there. Just merge it. A bit of that blue for that as well, I think. Don't want any white showing through, any highlights like the watercolour, sparkle. Well, 
tough but too much of it anyway. So I've just put in rocks and stuff. Go down this slope. Can add highlights in a minute. Uh, come down further with this yellow ochre viridian. Very useful colour viridian. Mixes well with a lot of other colours, especially alizarin for making wonderful darks. Oh, that's right. This is only a small piece of paper, about 8 by 12 inches that is. I used to fight shy of using acrylic and knife paints because of the speed at which it dried. Be very careful when you clean your knife that you don't get the blade against your the edge of the blade against your finger because with use these things get razor sharp. Let's put my screen back on again. Let's see there's nothing like uh, what I showed you. Right, now we come in with the yellows, ochres. Been out for the bike, bike, uh, bike ride along the River Wandle this morning with my mates and a couple of my grandchild and one of my mates' grandchild, which was lovely. I've just put a couple of well, I've got two acrylics on Patreon, which is a site that I'm currently engaged in. I hope you'll go and have a look at it. There's no obligation to watch or do anything, just see what it's all about. We appreciate it. Alright, let's have a few few sort of rocky bits. But I want to get rid of that horrible bit. White there. We need a bit of oak with that white, I think, for the rocks. Do red. Do it white. I'll put some shadow under some of this. Through. Right, let's put in a bit of a bit of dark shadow. I can't get a bit, um, very detailed with this. So. Oh, the rest of dogs. Get that too similar to the one above. It is a bit. Let's just change, change that a little bit. I'll do the sky in a minute, I just want to get 
bits onto this. This in. Okay, very like a Catherine Williams, isn't it? I get really excited when I do knife paintings. They don't all work, I mean. It's, as you can see, it's very, largely hit and miss. It's a fantasy I'm repeating myself. Uh, it just makes a bit of shadowy colour out there. Let's put a bit of sky in now. Uh, well, I certainly don't want a, grey sky, a blue sky, that's for sure. I want a drab, slightly drab sky. Now, because it's watercolour paper, we're filling up quite a few little dents in the paper. highlights. Uh, just go over the edge a little bit if you can. I was thinking of doing a doing a bundle, but I thought no nah, let's keep it nice and Nice and simple. Keep that thin there. Just to get the paint on. And then we've got a nice sort of lightish mid-tone. I'm going to have to get another one tomorrow. They're very cheap. Well, why I buy them from the, the pound, well, it's not a pound shop, but it's a cheap shop. Okay. Let's just get that nice and moulded. Let's get some nice, more or less pure white just to go in there. Ooh, I've got that dirty. Be careful of that. Painting on my little table here, the paints can get 
wasted. Because you don't use all of it. That's why I like to use the cheaper, the cheaper ones. And I don't mind that. The expense. I'm not trying to do too much modelling here, popping that bit there. Right, I think we could put a bit of a, take a liberty, a bit of a nice dark, rich, green tree. Just on that rise there. Just to block that bit there. Bits of uh, sandy coloured stuff in here just to warm it up a little bit. There's a little bit of flick of red here and there. It's a little bit plain there, so I'm going to uh, put a bit of light catching up the top there. Why not? Right. Okay. We'll put a mount on that. We'll have a look. So it's just a, just painting. Uh, Painting a Highland scene, Scottish Highlands. Oh, let's bring that down the top right over. Oh, that's it. Oh, I'll get that off. Fingers. Uh, a clip. Clip, 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 clip. I need a clip. A clip. Ah. Oh, let's just put that on there. Uh, put it 
So, the Scottish Highland scene. I think I just want to take uh, that mountain there, that brownie one. It's not brown really. It's a mixture of blue, red, black and other stuff. But the black does give you a quick access to uh, what else I was going to do. So I'd like all that there. Okay, we'll let that go. That's as good as that's going to get. Uh, it's a simple painting with a knife in acrylic, using acrylic. I'll zoom you in. We'll have a look at. Oh, you can paint as fine as you like with a knife. But I do like the Catherine Williams approach, broad, broad statements. But he used a lot of drab sort of colour. Used a lot of burnt umber black, burnt sienna. Just study his work if you're interested in this way of painting. I won't, I won't put a figure on it. Uh, and spoil it. Right, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Let's zoom out. Bye bye.